Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm with Eve Organics. So what'd you think about that picture? I went and saw The Hunger Games yesterday, and I'll tell you what, it was a good movie, but the makeup was a little over the top. Um, you know, if it took me an hour to do my makeup every morning, I probably would not do it. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> the magic here in Eve Organics is the simplicity in our makeup, whether it be in the ingredients and what's not in there, or the ease of application and how great you look with such little effort. I'm here today to show you how to put your foundation on quickly and easily. You know, if you have a product with such great ingredients and it works that well for you, there's no reason why you shouldn't use it. Um, don't be afraid, it's very forgiving and it's so, so simple. All the time I have people stop me and say, you know, I know you sell makeup, but if my, if my skin looked like you, I probably wouldn't have to wear makeup. And you know, I just kind of chuckle because I know what my skin looks like underneath my makeup. I have rosacea on both of my cheeks. I have these imperfections in my cheek that are always there. I have red spots by my nose. Um, uneven skin tone, dark circles under my eyes, and I'll tell you what, two minutes of foundation and it's gone. A couple squirts of our moisturizer in our hand. Oop. <laughs> this is our Balance Moisturizer. It's clearly our best seller for combination skin. And what you want to do is take the moisturizer and use it directly before you use your foundation. And you can use any one of our product lines depending on what type of skin you have, but you're going to use the moisturizer in tandem with the foundation. You know, our mission here at Eve Organics is Safe Cosmetics, and we don't put sun protection in our moisturizers because it would have to be used with chemicals, and we don't believe that's safe. It's also great for priming before your foundation. So before your moisturizer is even dry, you want to go on to the next step. This step's optional. If you have any imperfections or anything you want to cover, you can do this before or after the foundation application. You want to take your Ultimate Concealer Brush. I use a very small amount of foundation and I actually use one a little bit lighter than my actual foundation color. I use very little in the brush and what I'm going to do is cover up any of the imperfections on my skin and it shows better without the foundation on so I'm going to do it first. Covering up all these little imperfections. You'll see it's pretty dang quick. And very forgiving. I mean, look, I'm not blending anything in perfectly because when I go back over with my foundation brush, it's going to blend it all in for me. You see the rosacea on my cheeks? I'm not even going to use my concealer brush on that. My foundation will take care of it great for me. That's it. On to the foundation. Step three and the last step. This is my foundation. I'm light olive. And if you tune into another video, we'll tell you why I don't have my whole sticker off. I take the lid and I'm going to tap some of my foundation into the lid. Now, Eve Organics foundation is extremely concentrated. If you can see in there, kind of fell to the bottom, but there's not much in there. Uh, what you want to do is use that amount and if you need any more, add it afterward because most of the time you won't. Biggest mistake is that we use too much. So you take your flat top brush, make sure that it's a tight bristled brush like a flat top or a kabuki because you want it to pick up the pigment and put it on your face a little at a time. If you use a big poofy brush that's made for powder, you will not get the right effect. So you swirl it into the lid, make sure that it picks up all of the color that you have in there. Then either tap it on the back of your hand or on the counter. And you take it in circular motions all over your face. You don't even need a mirror. It's so forgiving, you don't even have to watch what you're doing. But I am, so I make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And. The zinc oxide that we put in our foundations is an inherent sun protection factor. So you're going to have between a 15 and a 35 SPF with any of the foundation colors we have. 
The darkest color has about a 15 and the lightest color has about a 35. And that's why the foundation and the moisturizers work so great together because you get your SPF, you get your coverage, and you get your moisture at the same time. And if you can see as I'm applying this, it gives it a great creamy dewy effect. You do not look like you're putting powder on your face. It doesn't look dry. It looks young and fresh. You want to make sure you get into your little crevices around your nose, your eyelids, under your eye, and you want to continue for about a minute or so, a minute, minute and a half. And you notice I have not put anything else back onto my brush. I just keep working it on my skin. And if you remember how red my cheeks were, take a look at them now. It's gone. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? So let us know what you think. I mean, obviously it was quick. It was easy. And I think it looks awesome. I feel so confident when I wear my foundation. I, I let it go. It stays on all day. It looks fresh. I look great. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. That's the biggest thing. I don't, I don't worry about that stuff. So go to the website, see what you think. You can go click on any color foundation. You can pick, there's a little drop down menu. You can pick a sample size for $2.50 a piece. And you can try out our foundations. They don't have bismuth that's going to dry out your skin or make it feel itchy or sensitive. You're, you have no carmine in there, so if you're vegan, don't worry about it. All our products are gluten free. And you know, if it's that good for you and it looks this great, it's a no brainer. You know, there is a time and a place for dramatic makeup and different events that you may need it for. But I'll tell you what. I'm not dealing with the Hunger Games look, not anytime soon. Right now I want ease and I want quick because I've got so much going on through the day and I want to forget about it. Try it out.